This way. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Think we got the thumbnail? I think we got it. Hold up just a minute, YouTube. It's your boy, Fan, and I got a quick video for you. We had most fear drop this morning. Community's excited about it. Promo seems like it's great. We got a third currency, candy, already in the game. And for about 20 minutes, as soon as the promo dropped, if you're at your PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever the heck you're playing on, we had a, a free currency loophole. Got patched, I want to say real time, in about 30 minutes. We were re-rolling the 85-plus um, most feared player in the store and operating at a gain with straight up quick selling. It was a it was a wonderful 20 minutes, but now that we're back to reality, we got to find a couple new ways with the most feared promo to generate some coins, generate some players, acquire some currency, and disregard any patches that EA is throwing our way. So let me clear up our screen a little bit here so I could tell you YouTube folks specifically what it is the heck that i'm talking about so let's go to sets first to show you the couple players that you're going to need to at least know where they're at the we won't even call it a method we're going to call it a method we'll call it the most feared method is just getting a player making sure you're making the stop at the 76 to 78 archived superstar mvp set because the cost on those low golds to acquire the high golds that you're going to need for the most feared baseline set will be less expensive i'm in the wrong place we need to go archive mvp Acquiring high golds will be less expensive as far as how many cards you need to trade in. So, at the bottom of Superstar MVP here, it's now an archive set, probably one that you folks have used to make coin so far this year. You only need three low golds, rather than four in the traditional exchange, to produce a high gold. And the high golds are the operative value factor here. So after working your get a player exchange methods, which might I add, might actually be juiced. Sometimes they are to start a promo. It might be worth your time just to crush gaps now that our infinite currency loophole is closed. But as you're ripping the gap packs, silvers, exchange, 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 up to your low golds. Low golds get dumped into the 76 to 78, which you will then take to our brand new set once we get out of archives. Over here to most feared, scary sharp, this bottom most set requires 875 to 79s, which you're acquiring on the exchange for one less card because you're using Superstar MVP. I know a lot of you guys that are involved in this stuff are looking at me like, yeah, no kidding, Fen, we, we probably anticipated that. But for the few folks who have not been making that Superstar MVP set stop, if you want to generate currency, you want to generate some of these top level cards from most feared, I would encourage you to make that stop there. The trade-off is you run no risk or the benefit, I suppose, of pulling the 75 to 79 power-ups. Sometimes they're a waste of time. Sometimes they can also be great. So you are trading the one less card on the Superstar MVP for the chance at a valuable power-up. You also risk not valuable power-ups where you've wasted all your exchange and your time in that 75 to 79 range, which is why I would encourage you to make the Superstar MVP stop. Now, in case that was something you're already doing and you feel like that's old news, I'm going to roll another thing out at you guys that might help some folks, might be old news for others, and that's how you're running your gap method. Let me go to the store because I feel like it's going to be best for me to show you like so. I've seen a couple of my friends running the gap method um, on stream, whatever the case may be, kind of just burning a little bit of time. And I don't know if they're doing it just because they're on stream or I don't know if this is how most of you guys are operating, but I actually did a time trial. So I know uh, that we're gonna show the correct way to do your get a player method. So this is what I'm seeing that for my gauge by my timing is incorrect, right? Flip over to get a player from the first screen, get your player, Wait for the card art to come up. And if you're doing many rolls, you need to think about, you know, matters of seconds that you can save because as the seconds will add up, right? What I see too often is from this screen now, a button click to get to the menu, one, two, to get to the set, click on the set. In this case, I want it in the 76 to 78 gold for now, but we're doing this the slow way. Click down to the set. Yes, I'm positive I want to add it. And that's for one single card. 
we need to make sure you need to make sure you are batch adding to sets instead of pulling one player going to that player's menu scrolling down to the one set and putting one card at a time into sets looking at more menus than you need to be looking at instead just in case you don't run through a whole heck of a lot of sets and you haven't seen this done before when you head over to sets after you've done a whole bunch of ghetto players, you got a whole binder full of cards, you spent your 50, 100K or whatever on your exchanges. Here I go bouncing over to the exchange set, player exchange, start from the top. And with your stock of ghetto players, you're in here. This is different because I only had one, I already had one in the, uh, in the set. And we're also not opening these packs here yet either, right? Here we are in our set batch add one two so i can go twice as fast at the at the lowest level on the higher ones where you need to exchange three four cards whatever the case may be you're saving a whole lot of time what i'm doing here what i've been doing for my ghetto players that i think is a hair faster than opening them up one at one at a time also takes some degree of like focus that i need to have on what i'm doing away instead of opening the, the pack here i'm just gonna hit circle go to another one where i can get an exchange here so I have that pack ready to roll. So you can extrapolate this. I've done this for an hour now. So I have a whole bunch of packs ready to be opened in my pack. So I'm going to back out. Here I go. Since I haven't been opening them on the spot. I can click over now to unopened packs. And rather than having to do them one at a time, I open one and you use square to just go to the next set. It may well be six in one hand, half dozen in the other, because you do indeed need to leave to go to the main menu, to go to where your packs are. And we're talking about button clicks. We're talking about numbers of button clicks to save you seconds over the hours that you might spend ripping these packs and working methods like this. You can also generate 50 players in a pretty similar way. So now, I'm once I'm in here, I can just spam square. I could be looking at something completely different. I could be making a YouTube video with you guys. I could be doing something on my computer and I'm just spamming square, 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 square. Don't even need to look and the packs open and open and open and open and open. Takes a little bit of attention away for my money. The easier you can make things, the better, right? So you're squaring through the sets as you've batch add them, hop immediately out. And this probably goes without saying, but if you have been adding to set, immediately after you pull the card check out how much faster you can do it if you just spam circle because it truly doesn't matter what you get out of the get a player you're going to exchange it later anyway you don't even need to see what the overall is you don't need to see if it's a silver you don't need to see if it's a gold nothing like this here i go i'm over to get a player bang bang and literally as soon as i see the card edges start to come up i'm spamming circle don't even need to see what the card is i'm spamming circle bam right back to it the faster you can get through these when you fi have found a method to generate coins off get a player, the faster you can go, the more coins you can make. So, in recap, my good friends, see what you can do with the most feared sets. The cheapest way to get there as far as exchanging your cards up is making the stop for your high golds, 76 to 78 in this case, making the stop at the Superstar MVP set to reduce the cost on those low golds by one shifting those over to most fear the math after that will have to be up to you chat and i'm going to try to figure it out myself as well the promo is three hours old maybe a little bit longer by the time this video gets out to you so we're still figuring it out on the top end because the market is shifting a lot at the very least we can say for sure the cheapest way to exchange up to those base level most feared cards is making the stop through the superstar mvp i'm sure that's something most of you guys would have thought of on your own if i could put 10 people onto it and help you guys out save you a couple cards then so be it secondary piece was the get a player method that i am personally using to get through them faster hitting the get a player immediately spamming circle get a player spamming circle mm -hmm. to acquire as many of these cards as i possibly can spending the money i want to spend going two sets to batch add them rather than adding them to the set one at a time then after i have a whole boatload of packs ready to open going to my unopened packs doing something else and just spamming square until i get through all of those packs you got something to work on for most feared. We'll see what those top end cards wind up selling for and what we need to do after we've acquired the pieces to build them. Hopefully you've picked up a couple seconds of time on your get a player method as well. I've been Finn, you've been great. Maintain intensity, be better than your opponent, and I will see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.